Hey everybody, <clears throat> we're going to be talking about the 42 Cosmo Lightning Slider today. This is the newest slider from 42 Cosmo. It is uh, mechanical and magnetic, and I'll show you how in a moment. Uh, we're also going to be doing some comparisons to some of the other latest 42 Cosmo pieces uh, and how this one compares. So first, let's talk about this guy. So uh, this one's been a little divisive uh, when it came out, and, and I've talked about it before, 42 Cosmos quality control right now. What the hell did I do? Cat scratch or something. Um, their quality control has been a little lackluster. Uh, I don't know if they're just a small operation that has taken on more than they were kind of able to, uh, to accommodate, or if they're maybe just a little forgetful. But either way, uh, first let's go through, this is always the part that takes the longest to get to, so... There is the up and down action. You can see it's got that same kind of uh, sawtooth pattern um, right there. Okay. And so it's got that uh, spring with two balls on either end inside of a metal block that runs up and down and goes along that kind of sawtooth ridge. Then, there's your magnetic. Now, so we start to run into trouble. First, I'd like to know, is this the front of the slider? If it is, it works as it should. Now, it's called the lightning slider, so maybe that is the front. Um, the side's got the logo. This is the side they advertised with, right? So you always kind of assume that's the front, but on this one, it might, it might actually be this. Now, if you use it like that, not so bad. If you use it like this, you go up, down, and then you're trapped. You gotta flip it, flip it, flip it. So, and then on top of that, this main part is not the part that it's pivoting on. So, it's a little bit like a backwards milky in a way. You also have this little magnetic pivot point here, all right, where you can take that off. And it's uh, essentially worthless. I'd say you're not getting any feedback from it. Um, and it's a little too small to even maneuver without that happening. Um, this is mainly used for, as you can see here, that's... The piece that it operates on. So you can see that this is just a mirrored image, right? So you can put that on there and then take another one of these and put it on here and make some sort of like super thick three stack. So it'd be a three layer and this would be the outside on both sides. So that does kind of make sense, I guess, in this being the front, because that would be the other front if you combine two of them. But most people didn't even want to buy one of these because the moment they came out, everybody was uh, complaining that the middle pin on this, and it's actually on the other side, that's the bottom of it there, but the middle screw, rather, uh, just was coming undone like almost immediately. 
after like three rotations of that. If you went in this direction, it was unscrewed. Um, so a lot of people were really upset about that. Um, it happened to me right out of the box. And then on top of that, now it's missing a screw because the person that sent it to me didn't realize that they were now using Phillips head, which I think every other... 42 Cosmo piece uses like a T8 or a T6. That's something I've talked about before where in the same slider I've had T8 and T6. And uh, so now it's Phillips head. Um, so they're kind of all over the place. It's hard to get any standardization, which really helps with your pieces because then you send the same tools like metal toys. You get that. For every single piece you order that's a t8 bit super easy um i took this thing apart so many times yesterday to try different variations different styles of balls sizes materials different size springs because nothing was really sounding good it certainly didn't sound good with the standard balls and springs. I've got it to a point that I like it, but now let's talk about where it compares because uh, I've got it to a point where it's good, but how does it compare to these other 42 Cosmo pieces? This one was pretty underrated. This was like the Cosmo bar. I don't know what they called it. Now it's got that same ball and spring setup where it's one block. You know what? I'm just going to show maybe. Um, no, I'm not because here we go. That's not a T8 or a T6. I don't know what size that is, but anyway, it's got a block. Let's pretend like this is the inside block that runs on the track. It's got a spring, two balls, spring, two balls. And this one has really tiny balls and really uh, long springs. These ones have like shorter springs and larger uh, bearings in there. But I think this one was kind of underrated. And this was just stainless steel. And I think where maybe this one isn't as good. Ah, see, I don't know. It's it's a stainless steel track. They did a lot of the other ones with this Teflon track, including the Mermaid Reborn, which maybe has the best best sound of all of them. But, why does it have the best sound? Because in that ball, spring, ball, ball, spring, ball, it's almost imperative that you take out one of the sets of balls and springs on the track. And it'll give you a much better sound. So by design, they could have made it a, that block with just a ball and spring, a ball, spring, ball in the middle instead of trying to include two. Um, this is the 42 um, mechanical, but I swapped shells for my 42 Cosmo X. All right, so that was their original magnetic one that people love, and it's a lot harder to come by now, but that looks gorgeous having it on there. Feels really good. So this one is a Zerk track, those teeth, and then take a ball and a spring, or two balls and spring, 
out on each um, block. And that one sounds uh, pretty good. It's actually almost better when you take this side and you turn it so that both sides run vertical instead of one horizontal and one vertical. And you get eight clicks up. You know what I mean? Um, so that's pretty good. So for the lightning, it's just not... Uh, it's not their best by a long shot. And I'd say if you happen to get two and you combine them, that might make the difference. But in terms of sound, the Mermaid Reborn blows it out of the water. In terms of functionality, uh, I mean, they're adding... that magnetic piece into it. Cool. It's just not their best piece, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Not their best piece. I, I would probably make that one a pass and hope that uh, whatever the next iteration is, they put a little more thought into this as a standalone instead of a buying two of them and putting them together. So that is the 42 Cosmo Lightning Slider. If you want a really good 42 Cosmo piece, the Mermaid Reborn sounds great. Or for a budgeted version, 42 Cosmo Bar, and it comes in a million different... Um, materials is a good alternative. All right. Thank you, everybody.